What's up, guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, I want to talk about an extension that makes retaining your selections a lot easier in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I have no idea how I have not covered this extension before, but it's pretty much amazing, probably because it's so simple. It literally does one thing. So um, if you've ever worked with SketchUp, and uh, selections, you know that sometimes it can get really annoying when you're coming in and trying to select different things. And uh, a lot of the time you'll come through and you'll try to select like very specific sets of things within your model, like different edges or something like that. And as you're clicking, you kind of move around the edge, you accidentally click and you lose your selection. And that is very frustrating because then you have to go back and start again. Well, you actually don't with this extension from TomTom. Tom. And the name of this extension is Selection Memory. And so with selection memory, this adds an option under edit for cycle previous selections. And this saves, I believe, the last four selection states of selections within your model. So you can see how this I was able to cycle back through the different selections that I'd had before. So I was able to get all of my edges back. So now I could come in here and I have those selected and I can... Um, do whatever I want with them. But what it does is it lets you go back through, I believe it's your previous four selection cycles. And you can download this one from the SketchUp extension warehouse just under selection memory. It actually lets you cycle through the last five selection sets. So this is something you really ought to have installed because everyone loses their selections at some point. So same kind of thing over here. I'm going to turn my hidden geometry off. And you'll notice this is in a group. But let's say I was coming in here and I was trying to do some kind of complex selection along this face. And I'm in a group, and let's say I accidentally clicked off of this, and I lose this. And even if I click outside of the group, you can just go up to Edit, Cycle Previous Selections, and this will reselect all of those edges. So, and I've actually heard a lot of people save this with a keyboard shortcut. So they could actually save cycle previous selections to a keyboard shortcut. So they can just tap a button on their keyboard to cycle through those selections. And to do that, you're going to go to Window, Preferences, Shortcuts. And you can actually filter for cycle previous selections. And you can, you can use the options over here on the right to add a keyboard shortcut there. And then click OK, and then you can use that. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Like I said, it's a super simple extension, but it's a super important one. So make sure you go ahead and get that installed on your computer. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.